Welcome to BISP Solutions. My name is Anjali and in today's video, we are going to configure the capital module of EPBCS application by enabling the feature Lease Asset, which is based on IFRS 16. So before proceeding further, first we need to understand few words. So we need to understand what do we mean by lesser and what is meant by lessee. So who is the lesser? A lesser is essentially someone who grants a lease to someone else. As such, a lesser is the owner of an asset that is leased under an agreement to a lessee. The lessee makes a one-time payment or a series of periodic payments to the lesser in return for the use of the asset. Suppose, for example, we have two persons named A and B. A has a piece of land which he wants to lease and B is the person who wants to take that piece of land from A on lease. So in this scenario, A will be called as the lesser and B who is taking that asset on uh, lease is will, will be called as the lessee. So next is what will be the impact of this lease agreement? So impact will be Number one, it will create an increase in net debt with the recognition of incremental lease liabilities. Number two, a higher EBITDA with lease expenses effectively flowing through the income statement as a depreciation and finance charge. And number three, a higher invested capital for the lease, which generally lowers the return of invested capital. So let's see how can we do this in our application. So this is the home page, all right? First, we need to see the configuration. Click on application, go to configure. All right, click on capital. This is the capital module. And in enable features, we need to enable this lease assets and IFRS 16 and rest everything will remain same as per our requirement and then we need to enable this feature of capital module all right so let's go to the home page and start the lease asset planning click on capital tab and go to investments and in investments tab this is my lease asset planning tab. Here, we need to check first that we have all the required details. Like for scenario, I have chosen the correct scenario. My version is correct. My entity is correct. Currency, your asset class and asset detail. So suppose I am doing this for asset class, machinery and equipment. And rest everything is same. Okay. So for adding a new leased asset here, right click over here and add a new leased asset. Provide all the details, okay? So say I am adding an extruder here in plant and machinery, sorry, in machinery and equipment. Uh, you can give anything in uh, description, like I am writing it as machinery and equipment. All right, asset unit is one. I'm taking it as one. Capacity OM is square feet. I've taken it as square feet. You can select any of these. Priority is high, medium, and low. So I am keeping it as high. Uh, suppose the lease date is 0101-2022. Lease term, say three years. Lease payment can say it fifteen thousand dollars okay payment frequency can be annual it can be semi-annual it can be quarterly or it can be monthly i am giving it as annual annual payment, payment frequency payment timing let's say beginning of the period implicit interest rate i am giving it as one percent index rate can be annual and it can also be payment frequency. So just give it annual for, under, uh, for our understanding, okay? 
So in asset name, give this asset a name. Okay. And then launch it. So once we have launched it, you, uh, you can see here, the least asset is added here. Okay. So the next step is calculating the lease amount. So we right click over there and when and then we calculate it. Okay. One more thing which we need to keep in mind is when we click on assumptions tab, we just need to see what are the assumptions we have set here for all of these assets. Since I have uh, given machinery and equipment, my machinery's useful life here is seven year and depreciation method is declining balance. Depreciation convention is prorate actual date. Low value is 12. So the term and low value lease amount is 500. Okay, so we need to check all this information. We need to check the funding assumption. Okay, for machinery, I have cash flow incidents after two months. Funding percentage is 50% and funding incidence is same month. All right. And same similarly for other expenses. So now let's go to this tab again, lease asset planning. choose the correct project all right so we have followed two steps till now we have added a uh, new leased asset and then next we have calculated the amount now the next step is converting the new leased asset into an into existing one so for that right click here convert and since the new asset is extruder double one double zero i will reconcile this asset with my existing lease asset okay Let's choose the existing lease asset click on ok and then launch it so now see you can see the asset is vanished from here and it has been added to existing assets in existing assets tab, click on existing leased asset. You can see here the excluder is added to the existing leased asset. The lease date is 1st of January 2022. Lease term, since I have given it three years, it is three years here, but the estimated useful life, which we saw in the assumptions tab, is seven years. Payment frequency is annual. Payment timing is beginning of the period and rest all the information you can check. Okay. Ownership after lease is of the lesser. Implicit interest rate I have given 1% while adding the asset and all the details here. The application calculated it, the present value of lease. This is the lease payment and this is the estimated value at the end. And at last, this is the total expense. All right. So we can check this in analysis tab. All the amounts. Okay. So click on analysis. Go to financial statements. And in financial statements, look at here. See, this is the balance sheet. All right. And here you can see our added asset which is extruder and the related amounts as we can see here new asset new lease okay see extruder double one double zero is added here and all the amounts are being shown here so this is the balance sheet which shows all the amounts here let's check cash flow impact See, this 15,000 is the cash outflow. So it is being shown in the cash flow. 
and now let's go to profit and loss and as we can see here depreciation and interest the two amounts are being shown in the profit and loss statement all right so this is how we can add a leased asset and do lease asset planning in epbcs application capital module okay so that's all for today thank you have a great day